In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Amplify Photoshop action. So the first thing we'll want to do is open up a photo to work with. Now, there's a few things you need to check to ensure you don't get any errors when running the action. So firstly, uh, just go to the Image, Mode, Menu, and just check that your photo is in RGB color mode and 8 bits the channel is selected. Uh, next, you want to ensure that uh, your photo layer is set as the background. So it should look like this. If you open up your photo and you know it's got some random name and it doesn't have background with the lock symbol, select your layer and go to layer, new background from layer and it sets it as a background. Uh, another thing to check is if you go to this top right hand corner icon on your layer uh, panel and go into panel options, just make sure that add copy to copied layers and groups is selected. Uh, if that's not selected, you are going to run into problems. Okay, so now we want to load up our action. So we just go to the window menu, select actions, the actions panel will appear. Select this top right hand corner icon and go to load actions. Uh, double click on the amplifier to ADN file and it will appear here. Alright, so now there's only one step uh, you need to do to get this action working, and what you need to do is create a new layer call it brush, it has to be all lowercase, if any letter is uppercase the action won't work at all, so all lowercase, hit OK. Now we want to brush onto our photo, so just hit B on the keyboard, I recommend using a soft brush, you can use any colour, doesn't matter, and start brushing onto uh, the areas of your photo where you want the effect uh, to appear, so I'm just going to do that beauty about this action is you don't need to be that um, uh, so we're that accurate with where you brush just brush away and see what results you get just look at that a little bit there okay so that's all you really need to do I'll explain more about how um, the effect works with where you brush after the action is complete so with that done, select the action. All you need to do then is click play. Now the action has to run through quite a lot of steps. So uh, I'm just going to click play and fast forward the video. The action takes about a minute and a half to complete. So just click play and then jump back on the internet or do whatever you're doing. And yeah, okay, I'll fast forward the video and get to the result. Okay, so the action's finished and this is the default uh, look that we get. So I'm just going to minimize this actions panel uh, we'll go into the layer panel, uh, just minimize these folders and I'll just talk through uh, what we can do now. So you can see, uh, I'll just start from the top, uh, this brush layer, that's the original area that we brushed, so I've just kept this layer here in case you want to do, uh, run the action again. Every, even if you use the same brushed area and you run the action again, you'll get a different uh, result, which is cool. So you'll notice that, okay, so where we've brushed, you'll see the effect um, grows out from the edges. Uh, of that area. So you can see we can't see his legs because we didn't brush into that area. Oops, turn on. And you can see his hand here, we didn't quite brush fully over his hand so you can see the effect um, start to blend in there. Uh, okay, layer below is a simple adjustment layer. Um, you can use it if you want just to increase contrast. You can adjust the opacity up and down. Um, layer below, increase color saturation. Uh, this is one I like to use after I've fitted around with all the other uh, effects in here, but basically you can just increase the saturation. What I like to do is target individual um, colour groups, so the reds, boost that up, or the blues, up in his pants, you can boost that up. Okay, sharpening, if I turn this one on and off, you can see the effect there. It's currently set to 50% opacity. So you can crank that up to 100 or bring it down, uh, that's up to you. Uh, you, you. I've also set up a um, layer mask here, so you say if I turn this up, say you want you know, your character, uh, his face to be the sharpest area and everything around to sort of blur out a bit, you can sort of brush, grab yourself a black brush and brush into that, you can see um, you can see it loses that sharpness then wherever you brush. Okay, so let's go into the amplifier folder. 
So this has all the effects. Okay, so we go inside and there's a ton of folders that have been created uh, with lots of layers inside. So there's a lot of flexibility here. Uh, so we'll start from the top. Mis miscellaneous effects. Uh, white jagged lines. If I just move this folder around to start off with, you can see um, if you look up here that it's blending all these different effects on top of our photo. So we've got our white jagged lines. If I move that around, you can see what that is. Um, crystal edge effect. If I move this one out of the way, you'll see around the edges of where we brushed, uh, it's got this effect that it overlays on top of our photo. White lines is a uh, subtle effect. It might appear more prominent in other photos you test this on. Um, but you can see that as I move it around. You can also overlay uh, a color here. So let's just go for a blue theme. Like that. So you'll notice inside these folders I'll set up uh, these color layers which you can just um, turn the visibility on and experiment with uh, coloring them. So for this guy I'm just going to go for a blue theme. Uh, like that. So folder below, paint splatter, turn the visibility on and off. You can see what that's doing. Now by default there's three layers um, that I turn off. Uh, paint spider 1, 2 and 3. If I turn the, those three on you'll see um, it just adds uh, little bits of yeah, paint splatter over your photo. Um, I prefer you turn them on one by one, sort of place them where you want. So if I move this out the way you can see what they are. If you just move them around over your photo. What that basically is, is that it cuts out areas of your photo um, and and create sort of a, some round shapes to it and places it randomly um, over the photo. So you can just turn those on, move them around like that. And it's cool to like, for example, around this area is to um, blend the color over different areas. See, I've grabbed that skin color and blend it down to his pants, so that creates a cool effect. And you can also duplicate these layers if you want more. So I can just hold down Alt and drag it out move that around, create more. Uh, the layers below, uh, the small paint splatter, you can turn these colors on so you can see more um, of what you can color. So let's, let's change these to blues. This yellow one, we might keep grey because that looks kind of cool. Uh, okay, so layer below patterns, go inside, there's just two layers in here. Um, very subtle effects, honeycomb pattern and grid pattern. If I move these out, we'll move them around. You can see them, uh, if you look around, say, shoulder, you can see that pattern, all those patterns moving around. Um, this grid pattern, you can turn the opacity up for this, currently 60%, come up to 100, or you can duplicate the layer uh, to make it more prominent, like that. Sketch lines. See the effect there. If I move the folder out to the side, you can see um, it's creating these effects and just overlaying them on our photo. Inside here, there is a layer that which you can color like that. So let's choose a different blue. That'll do. Uh, blurred paint blobs. You can turn this folder on and off and see what that's doing. I think this one we will, oh no, we'll keep it on. Darken edges, turn this folder on and off. Actually, I'll move it out to the side so you can see what it's doing. There's a whole heap of uh, black lines um, that have been traced around um, your photo, so it overlaps that on top. So if we go inside this folder here, we can, um, so that's a good example there. You can see that it's traced around contours of our photo, and we can add some color to it. So. Blue again. Put that one black. Particles. If I move this folder out to the side, you can see there's a whole heap of um, yeah particle shapes there that just add to the overall effect. And wavy texture. If I turn this one on and off, 
uh, that just overlays some texture um, basically over the whole photo that just helps it all come together original extracts that's the area uh, where we initially brushed and so if I bring this up to the very top um, you can see that that's basically the original photo that we've cut out from the area that we brushed um, which we start to build the effects on so keep that there you can also use this layer here to change the background color so you can just uh, select a different color here uh, let's, let's go blue that'll do uh, so that's basically it that's all there is to the action uh, please experiment with um, all the different color settings inside these folders, try duplicating layers, uh, moving them around, rotating them. Um, it can really achieve some cool effects. So uh, if you've got any problems, just email me and let me know. Um, but if not, have fun and see you soon.